morning. Uh, we're here to give you a briefing on the officer-involved shooting that occurred earlier this morning. Uh, I want to introduce a few people that are here with me. I've got Assistant City Manager Ray Ariana, who oversees the Public Safety Group. Farrah Muskinen, the Police Monitor. I've got District Attorney Margaret Moore, and then I have members of the APD Executive Team and City Legal uh, Basil Ali with me here today. Uh, this incident, the officer-involved shooting that took place, we believe is related to a series of aggravated robberies that have been taking place across the city since uh, late last week. There is a series involving a bank robbery and two robberies of convenience stores that we believe are all linked together. And we believe that the incident tonight in fact involves the suspect from those incidents based on our preliminary investigation. In those robberies, we had a white male suspect enter these businesses and pull a handgun and point the handgun at the clerks involved in these robberies. And through the investigation that the team did into these crimes, this being our violent crimes task force, they were able to uncover what they think was a suspect vehicle that appeared to be a silver Toyota 4Runner style vehicle. So there was a robbery that occurred last night around 10.40 p.m. at a convenience store uh, over off of North Lamar. When the Violent Crimes Task Force went over to work that crime, based on their series that they've been working and their understanding of how the suspect was operating in those, he would carjack a vehicle, then use that vehicle to commit the crime, and then ditch that vehicle in the neighborhood. They were able to locate, again, a vehicle that they believed was uh, possibly owned by the suspect, that being the silver Toyota 4Runner. So when this incident occurred last night, the team began looking up and down the I-35 corridor in the parking lots of the hotels and motels trying to see if they could identify and locate either the suspect or that suspect vehicle. When an officer pulled into the parking lot of the motel here, he identified a person in the back of the parking lot that uh, appeared to resemble the suspect in these incidents and then he was also able to locate a vehicle that the suspect was near that resembled that Toyota 4Runner silver vehicle again. The officer called in for support from several other members of the Violent Crime Task Force, and as he waited, the subject began walking around the parking lot and at one point actually got in that silver Toyota-style vehicle and left the parking lot, driving on the frontage roads around to Runberg and then pulled back into the parking lot here and then the suspect walked away from that vehicle. Members of the Violent Crimes Task Force had arrived on scene and they were coming up with a plan of how they could approach and detain this individual for further investigation. As they were putting this plan together, they saw the subject begin to walk through the parking lot towards the exit, towards the frontage road here on I-35. They exited their vehicles and began to approach him, at which point he recognized that they were coming upon him and he began to evade them. Two of the officers immediately observed him produce a firearm, they believe from the waistband area, and at that point they fired their weapons. Uh, each officer was carrying an AR-15 rifle. The subject was uh, struck by those rounds and went down. Our officers uh, went in at that point and began performing life-saving measures to include applying a tourniquet, as well as to pressure packing the gunshot wounds that the subject sustained and at one point CPR was performed as well. EMS arrived and transported the subject to the local area hospital where our latest briefing says that he is still undergoing surgery but is listed in stable condition. We did locate a firearm on the scene uh, where the subject went down on the ground and again we've got that firearm that will be processed as well. We're currently looking to see if there's any video from any of these local establishments, whether it be the hotels or the apartment complexes. We have a sergeant that was involved in this incident as one of the officers who fired their weapon along with an officer. The sergeant has not been issued a body-worn camera. The officer had a body-worn camera, however, was not on at the time of this incident. Several other members of the Violent Crimes Task Force have body-worn cameras, and their cameras were on at the time of the incident. However, we are not sure that that camera captured any of the incident uh, that would make it more clear. So we're looking for a video from the businesses behind us as we continue the investigation. The officers involved in this, again, one is an APD sergeant who's been with the Austin Police Department for 21 years, and the other is a patrol officer who has been with the department for six years. 
as is our standard process. There are multiple investigations going on right now. The Police Department's Internal Affairs Division is conducting an administrative investigation to determine if the officer's actions were in compliance with policy, and the Office of Police Monitor will oversee that investigation. There's also a criminal investigation being conducted by the Department's Special Investigations Unit, along with the District Attorney's Civil Rights Division. So that's what you see going on behind us now is, is the thorough investigation that we do into these incidents. So again, this was an incident that occurred uh, from uh, over the past several days, a string of uh, violent robberies. And again, we believe the subject that we encountered this evening and that the officers were involved in the shooting with is in fact related and is the suspect from those, but that will be confirmed once we uh, conclude our investigation. So both officers will be placed on administrative leave as is the department's standard practice. And with that, I will open it up for any questions. Chief, you may have to also speak to hotel last week, uh, last weekend, there was another shooting. Is that related to this incident at all? I'm sorry, can you speak up? There is a, there is a shooting at, here at the Austin Suites Hotel. Is this a high crime area or should people stay away from this area? No, we have no indication that this is related to anything that happened last week. There's also another officer involved shooting down the road with DPS. Is that involved with this at all? At this time, we have no connection between those two incidents either. Thank you very much.